Hello, Divas and Divos. Welcome to Roller Diva Dance Fit. I go by the name of Lady Godiva. I'm a fitness coach and skating enthusiast. And today, I'm coming to you with a move that is best to improve your flexibility, help with your coordination, condition those muscles, and it's a really cool dance move as well. So, if you want to know what that is, it is. The side surf! Let's do it! On and cue. So before we start this side surf, what I would like you to do is I would like you to like this video. I would like you to subscribe and then we can keep coming back, surfing, doing all the things. It's gonna be fantastic. Okay, let's go. So I got the idea for this particular video to side surf from some people in the comments that talked about ways of strengthening both your right side and your left side. So as you can see, that is what the side surf does. You can go both ways with it and really strengthen the groin muscles, the leg muscles, and the coordination muscles you need to really excel at your skin. The first thing you want to do is check your body, okay? You want to make sure that with your legs, one, the knees are very bent. That's about how bent they are, okay? Pretty bent, okay? So you're really working out those thigh muscles. And your right leg, you want it facing east. I believe that's east. Just east related to you, right? You don't need to take out your compass and figure that out. But just relatively east, and you want your left leg west. So when I say east and west, it can be northeast and northwest, right? It's gonna be really tough to just put it completely east and west unless you've been practicing it for a while. It's okay if it's on a bit of a curve. getting flexible because it will take time you're not going to be able to do it immediately just chilling your skates like this if you have a wall to hold on to even better and try to do this out of skates before you try to do it in skates right that works for any sort of skating move skating dance you want to be able to do it without wheels on your feet first just practice that you can practice just bouncing a little bit getting into this position And you can also practice by getting lower. That's gonna help your thigh muscles as well. Okay, so let's get into the surfing part of this. If you are on a surface that is on an incline, it's gonna be a lot tougher. You may note yourself coming to a dead stop. So be mindful of that. If you're coming to a dead stop, it might not be you. It might be that you're on a slight incline that you don't quite perceive with your eye. Same thing, you wanna pay attention to if it's going down because you might have a little bit more trouble in terms of controlling where you're going. So we're gonna start with the push off. Push off, and then you're gonna move the foot that's on the opposite end out. If you notice, when I did that, I just used my toe, right? I'm doing this with toe stop, so it's not a heavy duty, intense, you know, toe pivot, but it's just moving your toe out a bit. straight you're gonna go relatively straight but you may still curve a bit and if your feet are at this angle right where they're kind of northeast and northwest you're gonna curve a little bit that's okay you can figure out how to straighten up over time and to straighten up over time you just want to be mindful of where you're going so pay attention to the direction and the target where you want to go 
and just kind of keep your eyes on that and keep your torso in that direction. It probably won't be completely straight. That is absolutely okay. One other tip is that the faster you go, the more control you actually have, right? You just start to post with that side step. You wanna practice it in both directions. And one more tip, be mindful of your upper body. Sometimes it helps to lean forward just a bit and definitely use your arms to help you keep balance and get you where you need to go. So once that's done and you kind of figured out how to do it, you're just gonna go over it and over it. And then you can actually incorporate it into dancing a little bit. So you can just do a short side surf to one side and then a short side surf to the other. If you notice, when I'm doing the side surf as a dance, I'm just going slowly in one direction and then stopping it by bringing my feet together. Then the next direction, stop it, bring your feet together all the while having really bent knees. So if you're moving right, bring in the front wheels of the right skate, just turn them in a little bit. And the same thing for the left side, bring in the front wheels of that left skate and then match it with your right foot. For your matching foot, it can help to put a little bit of your weight on your heel. You can start to streamline it a bit. Other moves. Okay? So awesome. Thank you for joining me. That's